shooting videos in general, I don't like. I don't really like the whole process of a hurry up and wait and sing the same song you've heard a billion times, another million times. But doing these videos with the Diamond Brothers, full of regret, had enough, and now I think Bad Thoughts have been awesome because there's a cast. <laughs> tried to shoot it as if it was a movie, not a music video. You know, I'm sort of like, you know, get more pumped each time with the people that are involved. I mean, Elijah Wood. Ralph Macchio, which is incredible. Jenna Malone's fantastic. And I took a look at the first video online, and it looked like super fun. And uh, I was like, sure, let's do it. Working with Lindy was fucking amazing. I mean, uh, I grew up listening to Motorhead. Uh, Selma Blair was in the, the first video that we did. She's wonderful. Mike Watt from, you know, the Minutemen. Don Jameson. Art 2, Jason Trost. The caliber of that cast alone, for it, it could be a, I, I, could, I could have named you a, a major motion picture, and it's just our video, so it's been great. JC called the Diamond Brothers to come in, and so we just said, you guys figure it out, we'll be there, we'll shoot whatever you guys can come up with. We decided that we would just make people chasing and getting the band. That was sort of the, the base log line, if you will. And we just went ahead and killed Dan, the drummer. He's the newest guy in the band, so he's gotta go anyway. They would phone us, you know, and go, I think we can get Elijah Wood. I love the band, and, you know, I, I, I was basically asked to, to play a, a kind of hitman or criminal in a suit with a shotgun running around. <laughs> so I thought, that sounds awesome. It was perfect, kind of cast him against types and make him kind of a stalking killer rather than what he's normally cast as. Then Selma Blair's name started cropping up and then she was confirmed. So the band took care of Frank and Lemmy, who's obviously Lemmy. And then Mike Watt's name came up and I said, well, I know Mike and the rest is history. Memories I have for the second video have to do with Ralph Macchio. We all said, okay, well, let's see if we can get him. So we made some uh, calls to our casting director. The opportunity to play this sort of, you know, mad scientist who's like on the cutting edge of cloning technology. I said, this is something I've never touched before. And, and in a certain kind of style, I thought that would be cool. So the idea behind the Had Enough music video is that it's a prequel to Full of Regret. The band is still on good terms with Frank and Lemmy and their organization and they're being hired to capture and kill Ralph Macchio, whose name is Dr. Lee Dorian. Dorian Gray is a character that never aged, so the filmmakers thought that it would be cool to name this character Dorian, based on the fact that they think I never age, but I, you know, I could promise you I'm aging. Just a little bit slower than the average dude. Having a fight scene with the guy who was the Karate Kid in the Karate Kid movies is something that I'll always remember. So that, that was definitely a highlight for me career highlight even I'll admit it, I've done a few things that I shouldn't be proud of. I got no... so obviously if we're doing a wrap-up of the previous two videos we have to make sure we get everybody back to kind of finish the story unfortunately Selma Blair couldn't make it due to scheduling conflicts this time so we, we reached out to Jenna Malone who also responded really well to the other two videos and was psyched to be on board, and we made her Dr. Dorian's assistant. They said that there might be a part for this, uh, you know, girl in this, you know, strange uh, music video trilogy that they were kind of making like a film. Simultaneously, we also got Elijah Wood to come back. We got Ralph Macchio to come back. There was a moment where he, he has to block a punch of mine, and he kind of did a sweet move. <laughs> that very much reminded me of uh, the Karate Kid. We got Frank Drank to come back, and we also added Art Sue, who was the bad guy in Crank 2. It was just very, very exciting, but at the same time, it was a challenge. Jason Trost worked on the first video as a grip. And when he showed up, he's this sort of like rugged, handsome guy. He's got the eye patch, which is real. It's not a, it's not a prop. And he has a penchant for the most amazing one-line ad-lib action movie lines ever. And so we said, you're gonna be in the movie, come in tomorrow just like a cop. 
I thought they were great to work with. They were, uh, they were a blast. Everybody seemed to be, uh, they really meshed together and it was really fun. So we decided to use Dan's death in the Full of Regret video and the whole cloning aspect to use Ralph Macchio's character to manipulate and blackmail Danko and JC into doing what he wants because otherwise they would have no more Dan because he has the last Dan clone and you need to help me finish the process. Dan was the perfect clone. <laughs> Exchanging lines with Ralph Macchio, uh, doing scenes with Elijah and having him run into me, doing dialogue with Mike Watt and Jenna Malone. It's, it's great. I don't think he's any stranger to playing a role to a certain degree. His stage persona is um, something different than who he is in real life. I mean, you see his rock performances and the intensity of the band and the music they put out and you meet this sweet, soft-spoken guy and you're like, wait, this doesn't work. This, uh, how, how could you be that nice? and and sort of laid back and cool. It was nice that they put up with me. As the trilogy has went on, he's, he's, uh, his chops have gotten better. Uh, you know, if the, if the old rock and roll thing don't work out, he's, I think he's got a future in acting.